Okay, um, I didn't bother filming, but I wound up removing these um, three screws. Um, I don't have a short screwdriver right here, so I didn't go, you know, kind of not too far away. <laughs> There's one. Um, uh, well, actually, I take that back because uh, uh, my short screwdrivers um, are a lot larger. So, you know, this might be a time to kind of remind myself to get one of those little half dollar diameter size, really short. Um, I think they're ratchet even um, type designs where... What was I seeing something like that used for? Oh, somebody rigged it up for a, uh, like an impact or electric drill um, starter. So they had like a kind of like a a ratchet end on the starter. So when the engine started going, it didn't just torque and break off something. Anyways, yeah, I kind of was thinking about getting a, one of those little um, tools for the, um, you know, the, um, oh, I don't have one right here, do I? Yeah, those little uh, hex head tips. Anyways, um, what was I going to document? Oh, yeah, I want to document it. Cleaned all down there, vacuumed. Um, nothing really much. Lubricate. There's looks like there's a lubricating uh, port there and on the side a little bit, too, for this little shaft. Um, I want to, I like liberally oiling, so I liberally oiled. I didn't, like I said, I wasn't going to use a tri-flow. I'm going to use Baby Love on this, oiled up in here. Up, got up on that shaft also. Um, uh, oiled in here. I did lamp oil back in here. I didn't oil too much. So I'm waiting for that to loosen up, but I'm almost wondering, I can't visualize how this is working, but I'm almost wondering if something's broken in there. If maybe a section of plastic's broken off on the, I might have to pop off the, um, uh, knob and then the, uh, uh a reverse button. But there's a little more I need to study because I'm not 100% certain how reverse is working. And the reverse doesn't appear to be working even when I play around in here. So hopefully nothing's broken and missing. I didn't really investigate too much more. I don't know how the cam stack is involved with reverse. But kind of working my way over, I was like, well, I'll let that soak. Let's see what's going on here. I found this uh, zigzag stitch width mechanism was stuck. I mean, totally stuck. Like, I couldn't... I couldn't move, um, let's just get that uh, where that should move, you can see there's a gap there, and um, I can now push over, or I couldn't do that before, and I, it, oh, it's stubborn to go back the other way, but technically it's not supposed to be in that range of motion, so I kind of go, you know, technically it should be over a little more even, <laughs> uh, yeah. So now that's kind of, you see how it's kind of, so there's a little stubborn. So, you know, right there it should start wanting to head over, head back, you know, needle bar motivation. There it kind of goes, so that doesn't really pop back too well. A little bit, but not much. So there's still... There's still a little work to loosen that up. And I, I really should probably be cleaning this. So I think disassembling is the best, really, to uh, determine how to disassemble this whole mechanism and then clean it off thoroughly. I, I'm going to be a little easy right now. Hopefully I don't break anything. I can see where I can break anything. Um, but just to see if soaking does a little bit. Because I was surprised when I put a little lamp oil on this little chunk right there. It just wiped right off. So, um, and maybe it soaked for a couple seconds, but still, I think it's even soaking for a minute. Um, but yeah, seeing there's that chunk in there, I'm probably best to remove that. But for reverse, I'm not 100% certain what's uh, going on here. So, um, yeah, let's see if I can find a manual for the 1010, uh, read up into it a little more to see about disassembling. I assume, you know, based on looking what works or how it uh, functions, but I don't really want to do much more. I did see there's a little more plastic. This this gear is plastic. I didn't really see much else so far. Um, looked like mostly metal everywhere up in there. Okay, I just want to note uh, the progress. And um, like I was saying, I kind of wonder what's behind that reverse button. If maybe inside the button something's broken or could be something broken in here. 
just to get the uh, uh, reverse range of motion that's not there. So this fork or whatever is responsible for that. Um, it, it just something's broken, I think. And then I couldn't f figure out how to recreate the reverse. Um, I mean, I, I, I should put something in there and clamp it down just to double check. I mean, zero and set on zero and, you know, barely did. And I just didn't, nothing really seems right. Um, with, with my stitch lengths range other than zero and then trying to push into reverse, um, from this end, just pushing um, on that part, and uh, it doesn't seem right. Anyways, I'm rambling, so I'm like five minutes. Anyways, um, bye. <laughs> Be safe, take care. Grace, we're with you.